Iran and forcing it to abandon its nuclear program has been one of the top priorities of George Bush's foreign policy, and he pushed hard to achieve his goal. Over the last eight years, Iran has been labeled a rogue state, a member of the axis of evil and an outpost of tyranny. The regime in that country sponsors terrorists in the Palestinian territories and in Lebanon, and that must come to an end. The Iranian government is defying the world with its nuclear ambitions, and the nations of the world must not permit the Iranian regime to gain nuclear weapons. Relations between Tehran and Washington turned hostile long before George Bush came to power. Diplomatic ties between the countries were severed after the Islamic Revolution in Iran in 1979 and the embassy hostage crisis that followed. In the last eight Bush years, relations haven't improved. The U.S.-led invasion of Iraq in 2003 contributed to the election of Iran's hardline president Mahmoud Ahmadinejad two years later. He was the only candidate speaking out against mending ties with Washington. The American empire in the world is reaching the end of its road, and its next rulers must limit their interference to their own borders. In 2007, a declassified U.S. intelligence report claimed that Iran halted its effort to produce nuclear weapons in 2003. But Washington is still demanding that Iran stop uranium enrichment and is calling for the international community to impose more sanctions on the Islamic Republic. Iran, which is a signatory of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, has been defending its right to develop a peaceful atomic program. They continue with a huge lie. They are saying that Iran wants to have the bomb. Even U.S. intelligence agencies have announced that Iran isn't working to produce a bomb, but they refuse to accept it. For the last years, Iran has been living under threat of airstrikes and even military invasion. But Iran hasn't changed its policies and has refused to stop uranium enrichment. For the next president of the United States, this may mean that soft power might be a more efficient tool in dealing with the Islamic Republic as compared with military pressure and threats. Tatiana Novikova, RT.